Okay, let's learn how to install Vue.js inside our project. The first thing that we need is, of course, an HTML file, and then we will need to import uh, Vue.js somehow. Uh, we have, when we use Vue in our project, um, we have a couple of ways to install it. The first is using a, it's using a package manager like npm, and the second is the is it's using the CDN. The CDN is the quickest and simplest way to uh, get started and that's what we are going to do now. Uh, so if you follow along, if you never used Vue.js before, uh, if you don't have real development environment set up, um, the CDN is going to work better for you. Um, so the only thing that we need for now uh, it's an IDE, a text editor. I'm using VS Code. And of course, we are going to uh, need a, an HTML file. So let's create that. Uh, in here, let's save this file as index.html. And then, did it save? Yes, HTML. And then we create some boilerplate and then say here Vue.js installation. Okay, so um, let's visit the official website for Vue.js and see how uh, we can install it. So the official website is Vue.js.org and uh, when you first uh, eat this website, you will see this page, you can click get started and in here you can click on installation. So if you scroll down, you will see the section about CDN and it says that CDN is great for learning and prototyping. That's what we are going to do. Uh, so we will pick up the first um, link that we find in here because the second one is for production, which means that it's not going to show us any error messages. Uh, so we need to grab the first one. So we just double click in here, copy it, and we can paste it inside the uh, head of our index.html file. And then we add the comment. So um, alternatively, we could use the production ready um, link. So that's what we are going to do when we are ready to deploy something online and uh, we have built something for production. So it's ready and um, we um, we use this one. So we replace the um, development version with the production version. There are a couple of more uh, things that we could do uh, to install it. So um, uh, there are a couple of more ways. So this is the um, uh, native way um, for the installation as an ES module. Uh, so we could add the script and then say import view from and the link of the CDN, but we are not going to do that. Um, Otherwise, we could use npm uh, to install it. And if you don't know what npm is, it's a package manager for Node uh, application. And the only thing that we need to type is npm install view. Then there is another uh, tool that we could use, um, which is the CLI. But I'm not going to show you how to use that for now. We will see it later um, during the course. So um, for now, what we need is the uh, this just this script tag, and we will place it inside our index.html file. Now, before the closing tag, the closing body tag, we will add our script file, and then we will say this is going to be inside. For now, let's place it inside the root folder of our project. We call it main.js, and we save it. And let me create it, of course. So, Ctrl N if you are using 
uh, Mac or common than if you are using um, um, control N if you are using Windows or command N if you are using uh, Mac. Uh, and then now we create a new JavaScript file, we save it and we call it main.js. And in here we will write our uh, script for Vue.js. So. Okay. So let's break this uh, thing that we have done so far. Um, so first we added some basic mockup um, for an HTML file. Then we included a script tag for Vue.js for the framework. And at the end, before the closing body tag, we add our main.js file where we will place all the JavaScript code for our application. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so Vue is a framework. So if you uh, don't know, it's a JavaScript framework and it's it's really popular and it's becoming um, more popular in the recent years. And we will start looking at the fundamentals first. So um, the next video, we will learn how to create our first Vue instance. And along the way, we will learn much more all the things around Vue.js and a couple of libraries um, to build our projects. And I'll see you in the next video where we will actually start writing uh, our Vue application.